Brittany, turn off the camera. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the Winzip collection. Uh, I would say, correct me if I'm wrong, but like one of the sportier lines to the Rowan family. Uh, um, yes. Tell us a little bit about, and I'm wearing one of my favorites. But our new vest. Our new season. vest. Yeah. So what 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 is the Winzip collection? Tell us a little bit about the sort of inspiration and design. Uh, sleeping bags, <laughs> to be in a word. Mic drop. Uh, video over. Honestly, I mean, because a sleeping bag is something that is durable, iconic, classic in terms of a quilted fabrication that basically holds the insulation in a certain way, much like our garment does here. I mean, we have this one inch quilt pattern that runs throughout the garment, whether it's in our full zip jacket, the vest, or this popover. Um, and that just keeps it flatter than a sleeping bag would, where your quilting is probably more like, you know, eight to 12 inches wide, uh, because you're, you're surrounding it with a, a lot of polyfill or a lot of down. Here, we're only using 60 gram recycled polyfill. Uh, the idea is this to be a thin, lightweight, protective layer that is layerable. Whether you use this as your ultimate layer over the top of something, over top of a sweatshirt, over top of a t-shirt, uh, depending on what the temperature is, this piece is highly versatile. I mean, that, that's in a word. The shell fabric alone is it's a combination of nylon and 6% spandex, which allows it some give. Um, that also prevents it from tearing that little bit of a give. It's something that, well, because the fabric is light, all that needlework in there, it, if you didn't have the give in it, you'd have something that possibly, you know, wouldn't necessarily be as durable or was prone to possibly tearing. That's, that spandex is in there as much as anything for the durability of the fabric, as much as maybe giving a little bit of give to the garment, uh, a little bit of stretch factor. I was gonna say, because when you hear 6%, just kind of knowing product, that typically you think stretchy. And Sounds this, like a lot. And this is, it, it's very comfortable, but yeah. I still feel- It holds it, its it, shape. It holds its shape. Yeah. yeah, this garment's about ease and utility. So it, it does all those things very well. Again, this garment's supposed to be lightweight, Think of it as more of a speedy garment or kind of built for speed in a way. When I look at this, and, and again, I've, I've got the vest, I've worn all of these in various situations and forms, but where I really love this jacket and this collection in particular is not necessarily when I'm going for a long run, but when I'm going for a hike in cooler fall temperatures, like it has a little bit of that active wear oh, for sure. DNA. It's a it. performance piece that's actually got some ruggedness to it at the same time because we're not that type of a brand, right. you know, that we're purely looking at to be this athleisure thing. It's actually something that we also, I and mean, there's a lot of masculinity built in here. You know, the fact that we actually do this, this snap and zip type of method of closure, we like the look of this because, well, there's a function to it. I mean, first you've got dual closure, mm -hmm. this double action, but we also like the idea of being able to trapunto stitch this placket uh, put the black oxidized hardware on the garment, which we're purists about using black oxidized hardware because it it has it, it owes its reference, its heritage to military. Um, and the whole, the whole idea behind black oxidized was not to convey a position in the field. You know, the sun isn't going to reflect where you mm. are if you're out in the sun. So that's why it's black, but it's also just, it's just tougher it looks looking. Cool. And it develops a patina as you're wearing it because the coating, this black oxidation, actually happens on top of a copper that's been pleated on top of a brass. I'm getting a little too geeked out here, but anyway, you start to get enthusiastic the more you know about how something's built. I can honestly say I've never been more excited and interested in buttons as I have been right now. <laughs> like, there's one man that can sell you a button. I mean, that is such a cool feature. You know, another little detail or nuance in this garment is that we have this end-on-end -end trico that we use to the back of the garment. And it's just a lot of softness against the skin. Mm. Um, so it's not like a polyester ripstop that's just smooth. I mean, this is smooth and super soft. Ooh. It is a knit fabric that's underneath here. Um, that's nice. But much like the exterior shell, it has a little bit of movement, a little bit of give. So one more detail that, that I love in the Windzip collection and the full zip in particular, and jackets in general, is the two-way zipper. Tell us a little bit about the intention. We love two-way zippers. They don't always love the customer or the customer doesn't always love the two-way, but we also have customers that are very passionate about it. They're like, you know, sort of pissed off when it's not a two-way zipper. And any longer garment, we're gonna typically put a two-way zipper on there because it should be there. Uh, it allows you to release the garment and to open it up from the bottom end of the jacket um, so that you're not putting stress at your waist if you're in a seated position or just hanging out with your jacket closed up. So on the wind zip, full zip, that's what the two-way. The vest doesn't have it because it's a little shorter. It doesn't a need it. A little shorter. Obviously yeah. the popover doesn't have it. And we want faster utility out of the vest. 
I'm a big vest guy. Um, I, I think they're incredibly versatile. I run a little warm, so I love putting a hoodie on and a vest when it's cold out. But look, we're, we're in Texas right now, if we haven't told you. We're in Austin, right? It's 95 degrees out, but we have got great AC in this building. You do, you do, it feels So great. I actually need, like this is the perfect like office vest, but it, it, in all seriousness, like the versatility of it, it this, is one of, just from an activity standpoint, I think one of the most versatile pieces in the, in the line. Um, Cause it is, it, it looks killer. You can wear it every day, but it does have that performance element. Like this is a great adventure jacket. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, again, hiking, fishing. Uh, we had a guy that sent us an image and we used it on our Instagram account, you know, wearing his orange popover. Generally, like what's the sort of temperature range for a piece like this? Uh, I think we like to think of these as probably good down to 30. Mm -hmm. um, again, it also kind of r r depends on how, how you run in terms of your own personal temperature, yep. the activity that you're doing. I mean, obviously, if you're going to a stadium and just going to hang out and sit in this for, for four hours and it's 30 degrees outside, you probably want to have a hoodie on underneath it, that mm -hmm. type of thing. Or wearing it under your hoodie. I mean, in the case, some of these pieces are over under, depending on how, how big they're fit um, on the body. Speaking of, we talked about, obviously, I've got the vest. It's got, we've got the popover style, which we've got here, and then the full zip. Those are the three styles within the Winslet family, correct? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Exclusive color, exclusive color to Huckberry. <laughs> uh, he's doing the selling for me. I don't even need to be here. And then sizing, I'm wearing an extra large right now, and I've got a you know, mid weight sweatshirt on, so definitely thicker than a T, but not a full beefy sweatshirt. Um, I could probably, you said I could probably go down, especially with a vest. I thought you could, I could potentially wear a large. a large, yeah. Some people are going to be, you know, medium slash, you know, XL yeah. larges, yeah. large XLs. Um, yeah, and, and, and then it just depends on how, I find that certain times of year, I feel like I'm a whole nother size just because mm -hmm. I'm using the item differently than I was. So mm. in some cases I have, I have garments that are in both sizes. I, I'm a medium, but there there are times when I maybe want to wear the large, or I even wear small sometimes, depending mm -hmm. on what it might be. Yeah. But it's not necessarily because our weight fluctuates. It's just it's the Mine's temperature changes. Either. It changes how you interact with your apparel and, yeah. and how you layer. So there you have it: the Winzip collection, vest, popover, full zip. Um, Jamie, thank you once again. Thank you, Ben. If you've got additional questions on the WinZip collection, make sure you drop them in the comments. We'll make sure to answer them. If you want to check out the full collection, the three different styles, multiple colors, link is in the description. And as always, please like this video. Please subscribe. We're going to be doing this a lot more in the Huckberry Gear Lab. We're going to be picking Jamie's brain on more product. Uh, so stay tuned. But until the next one, we will see you out there.